What's going on, guys? It's your boy Crypto Seas DeFi Defenders back at it again. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, help us out with the algorithm. Today, we're looking at a multi utility uh, token. We're looking at Wolf Eye, guys. We have a giveaway of 0.1 BNB. We're going to give that out randomly to someone who comments on the video below at likes and also is subscribed to the channel. You also have to be a member of both of the telegrams. You have to be a member of the DeFi Defenders HQ and also the Wolf Eye Telegram. So let's get into it. What is Wolf Eye? Here we are on their website, wolfeye.io. Looks very clean, minimalistic, professional. Experience crypto as a wolf. Simplify trading decisions like never before. Swap your tokens a better way. Win tokens through fixed odd games. All right, so we can click on their white paper here. We'll go to that next. Our products, uh, Wolf Play, Wolf Swap, and Wolf Eye. So Wolf Play is fixed odd game, so it looks like you can do like simple games like Coin Toss, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Spin the Wheel. Um, here, I'll go ahead and let's play one. This is on another account that I have. Ah. 500 has been burnt. Oh. So yeah, you could, I'm assuming that they're going to advance these as uh, as time goes. All right, and then we have Wolf Swap. Uh, Wolf Swap allows projects to collect taxes in a native coin rather than pro uh, project token to reduce sell pressure. Um, so this is something I want to go over that is unique. And with this project, I'm very bullish because of the utilities behind it. So we're definitely going to go through that in, uh, in the white paper. If you see here, Wolf Eye is coming soon, uh, which is going to be the trading platform, aka the Poo Coin Killer, aka the Dex Tools Killer, as it's proposed. Um, I do love this team, and I, I like what they've done. I like how they've moved in the community as well. So I'm, I'm definitely excited to see the features that they're going to be adding to this platform. They've already done some very unique things. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into the white paper. We can find all the technical aspects. All right, so their white paper is hosted docs.wolfi.io. All right, so in the first section, we have the uh, information about their coin, their contract, the uh, percentage of tax, total supply, et cetera, et cetera. So we're gonna go right to Wolfplay. So Wolfplay, um, some of the basic information just going over how the um, the the betting platform that they have, and like I said, it's this is in the beginning stages of this project, so I could see them coming up with more unique ways to uh, to have these odds, um, you know, in, in different games. But more information about the randomizer here, how you guys can play. I do like that it burns a percentage of the um, of the win or loss. Or I'm sorry, I'm not even on loss 90 percent goes back to the global bs busd treasury five percent goes to their wallet of choice the other five percent goes to wolf eye and uh, 2.5 percent of that goes to marketing wallet and 2.5 percent gets to be redistributed to wolf holders uh, so that's awesome so uh partners that use wolf play can have it embedded on their website no cost they can actually set it up um with uh with the dap Wolf partners will need to be vetted, obviously, to use the Wolf Play and the Wolf uh, Play bot for free to ensure equally advantageous partnerships. Um, obvious, right? So we want to make sure that people are, you know, utilizing it correctly. With randomizer supported by a partnership with Chainlink, uh, that's bullish. Wolf Pay uh, BUSD will be available by end of September. And we'll play BUSD for partners by early October. Okay. So if you want to know more information about Wolf Play, go ahead and come to the white paper. I'm going to move on to the Wolf Swap. So, as with any uh, crypto asset, um, every buy and sell, for the most part, they have taxes, right? So, a project tax collection, um, a general one is 10 and 10, 10% buy, 10% sell. Um, Safe Moon, a lot of those major projects last year um, set that tone. Some people consider it high tax now, but you know, um, it could vary between zero percent um, up to twenty percent in some cases, maybe even higher. All right, so when that happens, um, they have to actually swap with a date of chain token. 
Okay, so this is done by the swap and liquefy function called on the smart contract, which creates sell pressure on the project token chart. So what they mean by that is it actually has to sell the token um, back into BNB and then send that BNB to the marketing wallet. Okay, so whenever that happens, it's actually going to create sell pressure. People are going to be like, who's selling? You know, why are people selling? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's just Jeets taking money, but it can also be... The, the contract could be the chart. Um, and I've seen several charts do this before. We're actually in the beginning. It's it's not really a good look when you see these uh, big sales. And it's really just going to the marketing wallet. Okay. Um, so many DeFi projects release their version of swap. They charge a fee for users and partners to use it. All right. And it's only functional to the partner tokens. So that means it's not going to collect BNB. It's going to collect Wolf Swap or it's going to collect Shiba Inu or it's going to collect whatever the project token is, not the native token of the blockchain. Right. So they take it one step further by offering a swap that can process tax on the native chain uh, before swapping project tokens. Um, so what that means is going to remove that negative sell pressure because they're going to use the native chain tokens right rather than the project tokens because if you use the project tokens then you have to sell it in order to get the native coin <clears throat> in this case it would be bnb so that we need to do that in order to to receive the native coin to sell the project tokens right so that creates the the sell pressure so they do it the opposite way which is going to remove that sell pressure so that's a utility in its own all right um and it's not just a pancake swap fork right um what they do is they whitelist the wolf swap smart contract from the token smart contract that way token x which would be the project um token uh, never has to collect the tax and sell it right so that contract is no longer liable to do that which means that it's going to remove that sell pressure good um so this works on any token you want not just wolf partners token but unlike pancake swap we don't offer to provide lp so i wonder if this means that you can't pair Wolf swap tokens with uh bnb to provide lp or maybe because they don't have enough liquidity i'm not sure that's a question for the team that i'm gonna have all right so here's an actual example it goes through here let's look at the actual graphics so let's start over here the user when you want to buy a token you have to pick how much you want so let's say if you're swapping one bnb for some tokens you're swapping that one bnb it's going into wolf swap first um if it's 10 percent right 10 percent uh buy and sell 0.1 of that bnb which is 10 percent, is sent directly to the marketing wallet so the actual token itself is not sent the native coin is sent which is the bnb okay the rest of the um transaction of 10,000 coins 0.9 bnb is swapped with pancake swap right so that is then sent to wolf swap wolf swap then sends it back to the user okay so they're creating a solution here by creating this extra step here and shielding the actual um, contracts from having to provide this service, which in, in turn, you have to sell those tokens and it just creates, you know, sells on, uh, on the chart. And sometimes some tokens, they do it so often that it like makes the chart look red. And some people may get discouraged by seeing so many cells and, you know, say, oh, this is not going anywhere, you know, and actually take that as a, you know, as a sign to get out. Um, so I'm very bullish on that. Same thing with selling. T say you're going to sell 10,000 um, tokens. It's going to come to Wolf Swap. Um, that those 10,000 tokens are going to be swapped to Pancake Swap. The one BNB is going to be sent to Wolf Swap. 10% again, uh, which is 0.1 BNB, is going to be sent to the marketing wallet. And then from um, the remainder is going to be sent to the user, the remainder of the BNB. Right, so the marketing wallet is no longer liable um, or responsible for buying, um, buying or selling any tokens. It's just receiving. That's all. It's just receiving um, that ten percent tax on buys and sells, and that's it. It should just accumulate. It should not have to actually dump on the chart. So I think that's definitely um, a step in the right direction. It's a, it's a good utility. Um, so I definitely think this is something that could help this project long term because they're thinking of these ingenious um, ingenious ways to fix current um, ways that uh, that these DEXs operate, right? All right, so Launch Shield. So this is what I'm really bullish on right here, guys. Launch Shield. Um, I've been in a 
a few projects that are, you know, kind of no name projects, um, not, you know, major teams or backing or marketing, you know, obviously Wolf Eye is just starting out itself. So they're only dealing with some of the, some of the tokens that are launching like stealth, right? So the few launches that I have been in went well, as far as the, the initial launch, it did what it was supposed to do, the utility that it provides that we're about to get into. Uh, but they didn't last long after that, but primarily because those teams that were behind the projects just were either, you know, not experienced or just didn't have enough marketing money or know-how or, or whatever. Um, so what does Launch Shield actually do, right? <clears throat> Launch Shield is actually proposing to solve a problem, right? So there's always concerns that people can find your contract address early to snipe the launch or concerns that your launch might be heavily botted. So by getting sniped or getting botted means that you can have a large percent of your supply, sometimes 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 percent bought at very early stages by the same person with multiple wallets who end up just dumping on every pump that the chart has, um, which, you know, eventually kills that project just because, again, it's creating cell pressure and, you know, they don't really have any emotion or attachment to the project. They're just looking to get quick gains, sell. If it goes up a little bit, they'll sell the rest and et cetera. Right. So. It can actually have, uh, you know, investor investors like myself who have been trying to get into early launch projects. You'll see those big green candles, um, which, you know, most people who are not using those tools end up getting caught at the top. Right. So that means you are getting stuck at the top and they are getting, you know, 10 X, you know, five X or whatever. Um, and then selling on you immediately. So you're entered and you're immediately at a loss, right? So this has happened to a lot of us, I'm sure. Uh, it's definitely happened to me. So <clears throat> what they propose is that their anti-snipe protocol, um, which is powered by WolfSwap, is developed as a countermeasure to protect project launches from snipers and bots that take away the possibility for projects to have safe and healthy launches, right? So... It whitelists the address, um, which allows it to trade um, while trading has not been activated on PancakeSwap, right? Um, so whether it be 5 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes, they will have the launch and launch shield, so to speak. Um, and then after that period, it'll get transferred over and enabled trading uh, with PancakeSwap so other people can buy and, and other people can get in that are not utilizing the launch shield app. So the only way to get into the launches with launch shields um, is going to have to be through their dap and with a specific link and it changes every time so you know no bot can just set up to a certain server or anything like that and just continuously snipe and that's how they are able to with other ones because of the pancake router they're just connected to the pancake router launch shield is actually shielding from anyone being able to buy unless they're whitelisted through their dap um, so i'm very bullish on this um, i personally want to launch a, a project with it um, because I know that it's not going to be botted and, and ruined at the beginning. You know, you, there, there's a lot of pitfalls you have for trying to do your own project in this scene. And just, you know, between bots and a lot of other things, uh, especially with the market the way it is, just kind of makes it, you know, kind of daunting to want to do one of your first projects and just have it fail because it's outside of your control. You know, I've been part of other launches where it had good, plenty of hype, and then, you get that massive green candle and everyone's like, oh yeah, we're going to be rich. And then you couldn't get in and then you bought the top and then you're down 50, 60, 70% only for it to never recover. And to find out it was just a bunch of bots that bought up supply early and then dumped on you, made a ton of money and everyone else lost money, including the team. So I am definitely very, very bullish on launch sealed. Um, another good thing. Uh, it allows contracts to be cleaner so they can score better audits because um, you can remove the anti-bot, anti-snipe features. You will no longer need those in those contracts because you're utilizing a uh, launch shield. Um, so there's a unique launch shield smart contract that will be deployed for each and every project launching on the platform, adding an extra protection layer. All right, so let's move on to Wolfi. Uh, Wolfi is uh, their version of a decentralized exchange trading platform because they're going to provide charting services as well as a swap. So you can, you know, pretty much view the chart as you're able to uh, to trade at the same time. 
um, instead of like pancake swap where it's just simply a swap um, you know it, it's similar to other platforms but it aims to be um, a new emerging platform and with better features okay um, so they do have an order book they also have an aggregator which displays um, the the page links of different tokens so like if they have their links up on uh, BSE scan uh, or if not they can contact the team I believe they said um, to update their socials and, and things like that so people can get the relevant information um, swap so swap obviously right there with the chart uh, being able to look at the uh, at the at the chart okay so here's a, a preview of it as I said on the on the website it's coming soon right so it's not currently available uh, but I actually did secure beta I was able to talk with the team and get beta so I'll take you guys through it um, but their focus is to um, to make this better right continue developing based on experience and feedback which is exactly how you're going to deliver a winning product is by giving um, the community what they want the users who are utilizing that platform what they want making it better over time and they've been stable they you know they haven't been um launched for you know years or anything but you know in this market they've definitely survived um from the time being uh and it looks like their floor is super solid so with this utility with these new updates i definitely expect to see a price in wolfi and as time goes wolfi will generate um its own revenue which i believe has a revenue share um these are things that i'll update in a in another video once i get with the team and confirm numbers and and, and things like that all right um so wolfi is going to be released by early september right now it's currently in beta and i'll show you guys after we finish these next two uh, so dust converter so dust converter will allow you to convert any dust balances to woof um, or bnb um so it's not just going to convert anything you have low like you're still going to have to choose it but it'll have um, an easy way for you to you know say you have 20 tokens that are like two dollars or less um you could turn that into 30 40 dollars worth of woof fi um or i'm sorry woof token and uh you know then you can utilize that however you would like if you want to sell it into bnb you can um but you have to approve the transaction so you don't interact with any you know dusting attack tokens the ones that get airdropped to you or if you interact with them they'll drain your wallet so you want to make sure it's things that you bought again guys you know go through our our youtube we have a lot of content i'm protecting you guys security uh preventing dusting attacks and and things like that how to prevent rugs and etc all right uh, so dust converter will be integrated into wolf swap by early october uh, wolf lock so wolf lock is a token locker protocol that allows project partners to lock liquidity in team tokens um, this also will come with a bot that tells how long um, when pinged in a telegram group so it's pretty cool um, and this will be done by mid-october so instead of them having a you know put a link up or anything it'll actually have a bot that shows that it's linked and the more and more people use that bot as soon as they join a, a group they're going to want to see that command or see that bot in there to know that things are locked up and, and safe and tight all right so uh definitely a, a long video because we're going through all the utility here we're going through the white paper but i did want to get through um you know the basis of it and then we can move on in the next video to all the updates and things that are coming to the platform and things like that all right, so you can see here we have Wolfi, we have um, information about um, the token, 24 hours up here. Uh, I don't think it's clickable or changeable um, as of now, but I know they're going to be developing this platform. So then you have the actual token here. You can copy this, get the token address, which is convenient. Uh, you don't actually have to click BSC scan to get the token. Um, and then you have MetaMask added to your token, uh, added to your um, MetaMask list. And we have Telegram here. I'm not sure why it's uh, grayed out. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. But it looks like it's working. Anything they have. Discord. Reddit. Uh, look, link couldn't be fetched. So it's a little hard to see the difference here. Maybe we should make these colored. Um, once, you know, or maybe like a bright white or something. That way we can tell the difference. White paper. And then uh, we also have their website. So definitely all the links that you need to do your own research. 
All right, um, we have Wolf Eye here. If we click this, it's going to go to the LP uh, tokens. Obviously, then we have the chart, time, candlesticks, if you want to use different ones, settings. You can change basic settings. You have your tools over here. So it is use, utilizing trading view, which is awesome, which is obviously the, the number one go-to charting platform. Um, you have all the rest of the, the regular amenities right here with your um, trading view chart setups. Over here, you're going to have the swap, so wolf swap. You can also check the pull info here. But simply, if you wanted to buy some, you would just you know, pretty much go like this. Buy one, and then you could buy 3,000 tokens for 0.01 right now. Um, I don't know. By the time you watch this video, maybe a lot higher than that. Because um, I do know these updates are going to get to rolling. All right, so holders list. This is something that's pretty cool. It's right here on the platform, so you don't have to go to BSC scan. The holders list is right here. Top holders, so there's some information down here for the top holders. Um, and it also tells you when the last sell was. So no sales, wallet value, etc., etc. Right. Um, and then also here, common tokens across top holders. So if there's any um you know <clears throat> any of these people that are like top token holders in shiba or something like that that could be a good indication that all these guys are are really whales in major projects or something like that all right <clears throat> awesome so i know there's going to be a lot more features right now you know first first glance it looks a lot cleaner than uh than poop coin it looks a lot less congested than dex tools I know it's missing the uh, the advertisements, but it just feels clean. It feels not overly simple, but very, you know, strictly straight to the point. Um, I'm definitely interested to see what kind of features, any additional trading features they're going to have and things like that. But make sure you guys stay tuned again. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow the information in the description below or in our telegram in order to win the free BNB mentioned at the beginning of this video. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you out. Crypto C's out.